is ours offers us a really wide range of environments and things that we can't find back in the UK. So we've been to hot springs, for instance, um, something that's impossible to find in the UK. We've been up volcanoes. And we've been out on the sea with uh, whales and dolphins. So we've got lots of environments that we wouldn't find around Plymouth, and that's really helpful for the students. They get to experience something that they really wouldn't normally experience. The Azores is really unique because it's an island and it's in the middle of the Atlantic. The climate's really temperamental, so it's a really interesting place to see. It's unlike anything they've seen in Europe. There's the really interesting aspect of having all of these endemic species that are not found anywhere else and then they've been invaded because of human presence here. It's been such an experience already because there's so many things out here that you would not see elsewhere in the world. Because this morning we went to the hot springs and it's, it's really weird to see one moment you're in an atmosphere where it just looks like any other country and then suddenly you turn the corner and you just see like in the ground all the hot springs and like bubbling water and everything. It's, it's very unique. So field trips are really important for us because it gives us a chance to get out in the field. You get really in-depth time with lecturers, which is just an amazing experience, like absorbing all their knowledge. The practical skills I've learned on this trip have been half out in the field and half analysing the data we collected in the field. There's, there's loads of different methods of analysing data and compiling data, compacting it. That, um, Obviously we've got the experts in the field with us to teach us how we can do things like that. It's good for the students to come here and um, first experience a place that they're not used to, the fact that we're in a foreign country um, and they realise that if you do field work in a foreign country then language might be a difficulty and you need to surround yourself with the appropriate people for that. Um, and more generally I think they become more adaptable. So, well basically just getting out of their comfort zone I think. Even though it's not an actual like biology skills, I think it's the life skills that will be very important for them. I enjoy field trips as I feel like you learn so much theory and then when you take it to the field trip, you can see it firsthand, like the link between the two. Field trips are really a unique opportunity for students to take what they've learned in lectures and apply them in the field. So you get to see real world applications of theory and ideas and apply them in a sort of unique and informative way. And they're usually the most memorable experiences that people have during their university experience. The thing that got me most excited about this field course was learning about all the endemic species and all the conservation work that's being done to help rejuvenate them. Uh, so this morning we went out on a boat into the Atlantic Ocean to look at some of the species that live around here. The sperm whale is very, very nice to see. I haven't really seen one before. I've never seen dolphins and I always have wanted to, so it was very exciting seeing them. I've never been that close to them before. So I think it's really good for the students to go to the Azores because they can be in like an un unfamiliar place and look at it with their biologist glasses instead of being a tourist. But also the fact that they're not in their usual environment, it, I think it makes them more curious about things and trying to understand why things are different from home. Field courses are not just about getting out in the field and learning practical skills, they're also about learning um, some life skills in some ways. So we bring students to a completely different culture, a different country with a different language, um, just like you would do as a professional biologist. Um, and it does put them a little bit out of their comfort zones, but we still have to carry on with the work. And that's really part of the learning experience of a field course for us.